What do you say we talk to Jimmer? Good afternoon, Jimmer for Dead. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. Thanks so much for joining us. A lot of America just getting to know you, Jimmer. So some of these questions you might have heard before. But first of all, let's get it out of the way. Why Jimmer? Um, you know, it's just something that my mom wanted. Uh, she had some James and Jims, Jims in her family, um, but she she really liked the name. But she wanted it to kind of be unique. Uh, so she decided to just kind of add an extra M and ER at the end and uh, call me Jimmer. My real name is actually James, but uh, no one's ever called me that. It's always been Jimmer, so, you know, it's stuck ever since. You think when you're 90 in the nursing home, people will still call you Jimmer? <laughs> I hope so. I, I hope so. Good That's point. the name. They'll still be calling me that. <laughs> right, and you'll be making it to 90, which is also good. What was life like for you growing up in Glens Falls, New York? How would you describe your upbringing? You know, it was a great upbringing. I have a great family. Um, you know, my mom and my dad did a great job of raising us as kids, my, myself, and then I have an older brother and an older sister. Um, and it's a, it's a blue-collar, you know, little community. Uh, everybody works really hard, uh, and everybody knows each other. It's not very big, um, but they're very passionate about their sports, and if someone, you know, is doing great in that area, they're going to follow them and continue to, to support them. And, uh, you know, I had a great upbringing, and I, I wouldn't change it for anything. You were given the option by your parents, your mom's a Catholic, your dad a Mormon convert, to choose your religion when you were younger. Uh, how old were you when you made that decision, and why did you choose to become a Mormon? Um, you know, I was 10 years old, actually, when I got baptized into the Mormon church. And, uh, you know, I just decided, like, it was, it was the right thing for me to do. Um, you know, I went to church all growing up through, um, you know, until I was 10 uh, at the Mormon church. And I, I just really liked it. I liked the people that were involved at that point. Um, you know, I didn't really know a whole bunch about the religion, you know, just because being that young, didn't really study or anything. But as I grew older, I was able to gain more of, you know, a testimony of our church. And, uh, you know, it's been a great thing, and I really love the church. What will happen first in Glens Falls, New York? Jimmer Fredette statue or Barry Melrose statue? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I think Barry's got me right now. I think you know a lot of people know that what he's done as a coach and you know being on Sports Center. So you know maybe him first and then me to follow after. <laughs> Let's talk about last night's game, uh, Jimmer. This was an NCAA tournament atmosphere, 22,000 strong. What did it feel like? And what did it feel like? After the game, uh, with the crowd rushing the court. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, you know, it was so loud in there that I could feel the floor rumble at times, wow. and uh, it was it was unbelievable. Uh, the the support that we got, everybody was there early and, and watched us there for warm ups, and it was just it was one of the most exciting games I've ever played in my life. Um, you know, they did a great job of getting everybody there on time and, and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, when I didn't know that they were going to rush the court, to be honest with you, and then all of a sudden. I saw him start running the court, and I was kind of in the middle. I was like, oh, man, so I probably got to get out of this. So I started to, like, go towards, you know, the sideline where we were shaking hands so I could shake hands with the team. And then, you know, security guards had to kind of surround me a little bit and kind of push me back so that the kids weren't, you know, trying to, to grab me too much and everything. But uh, it was a crazy experience, something I've never experienced before in my life, and it was a lot of fun. Kevin Durant tweeted last night about you. I'm sure you've heard that by now. Says you're the best scorer in the world. What's your reaction to that tweet? And do you tweet? Yeah, that was crazy. Actually, I don't tweet. I don't have a Twitter right now. Uh, I got to get one. Uh, that's what I've heard from everybody now. So I'll probably have to get one here soon. But you know, obviously, Kevin Durant is is the best scorer in the world. You know, in my opinion, most people's opinion. And uh, you know, I really appreciate him saying that. I appreciate the love and everything. Uh, but I think you still got me. <laughs> well, I I'm going to tweet when we're done here that Jimmer needs a Twitter. That that's going to be my next tweet. <laughs> so please uh, follow me and look for that. Uh, when we talk about uh, seniors in college, we always talk about the NBA. Who would Jimmer Fredette uh, play like in the NBA? Are you real? Are, first of all, are you six two? You're listed as six two. Yeah, I'm actually about six two. Okay. Um, I'm a deep size guard. Um, so my body type is kind of like Darren Williams, I think. I would, you know, being a bigger point guard, being that size. Um, I've, I've looked at his game and tried to implement some, some some things into my game with his crossover and just being a strong guard, being able to get to the basket. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't think I'm at any of those guys' level yet, um, but I hope that I can just continue to work hard and continue to get better, and hopefully someday I'll be able to be there. So you foresee yourself as a point guard in the NBA right now? 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's the position that I want to play. I've played that all throughout my life. Um, I love having the ball in my hands and being able to, you know, create for myself off the dribble or be able to create for my other teammates if guys help off. Um, and I think that's what makes me effective as a basketball player. Well, Jim, you're an absolute joy to watch. Uh, the way you conduct yourself, the way you play the game, and how unselfish you are, and how you involve your teammates. You really are uh, one of the best things about college basketball right now. Continued success and keep it up the rest of the year. And uh, we'll, we'll tweet about it all year long. All right, sounds great. Thanks a lot, John. We'll talk to you soon. You bet.